everyone. My name is Shelly Calhoun-Jones and I'm a principal technologist here at Cohesity. Today I'm going to show you how you can use the new Microsoft Sentinel integration with Cohesity. But why is this important? Well, for a lot of companies, backup operations and security operations can be handled in different parts of the organization. And if you're in security operations dealing with a new security incident, you may not have access to the same tools as your backup operations team. So I'll show you how you can review anomalies from within Cohesity as well as within Microsoft Sentinel. But first, let's go ahead and pop over into the Security Center dashboard. And if I just click on anti-ransomware, uh, we can identify a server uh, to research. And so in this example, you can see that we do have a server down here, uh, which has been uh, demonstrating anomalous behavior. And if I click on it, we can see uh, within the backup timeline that pretty much everything was normal until April 4th. And then at that point, Cohesity detected anomalous activity and blocked the snapshot, which you can see right here. If we click over to the trends tab, we can see that we get trends of anomalous, clean, and expired snapshots. Now, in this particular example, we can see that more data was written on our anomalous snapshot uh, versus our clean snapshot. So that's something that we're going to want to document as ransomware not only blocks access to files, but the infection can also download files and other malware from, let's say, a command and control server. Now, in this particular example, we are seeing all activity here. We're seeing all activity for this server's snapshots. So it's still pretty early in the game. Uh, we're going to go ahead and document this as we want to make sure that we're gathering uh, information about the event. To learn more, I can click on the Affected Files tab and drill down to the files that were added or modified. And so if there is a particular file of interest, I can click on the ellipsis sign, which you can see right here, and download this file into a forensic environment for further analysis. And so from within that environment, uh, security operations can do further investigation of the issue using their own security tools. But that leads to the question, uh, what type of data was impacted? So for that, what I can do is I can click on the sensitivity tab, which allows me to see uh, the data classification scans that were performed on our backup. Effectively, what it does is it quantifies the type of data which resides in your backup. So in this example, we can see that we did have files uh, with both credit card and sensitive password information. So this is something else that we'll want to go ahead and document uh, for this event. And if I wanted to, I could click on the affected files and download that for gathering evidence. Okay, so we have a server with anomalous activity, and although the IT operations team did gather, th gather some insights, uh, security operations does want to do additional investigation, which they can do within Microsoft Sentinel. So as you can see, I already have an incident uh, selected, and uh, in this example, you can see that uh, we did detect an anomalous change on this particular server uh, from within Cohesity, and so in this particular instance, it's actually recommending that we go ahead and restore from a clean snapshot. And to do that, I can just click on Incident Actions. Uh, you'll see an option here for Run Playbook. Okay, so you can see that we do have three different options that we can run uh, within our Sentinel Playbook. We can choose to close the incident. We can send out an email. But in this particular instance, I want to restore from the last snapshot. So I'm going to click on Run, and you can see that it's now triggering our playbook. And uh, right now I'm in the security manager. I'm going to go ahead and just do a quick refresh here. I was doing some testing earlier here, guys. All right, so I can see that the recovery has initialized. If I want to click on it and get a little bit more information of what's happening by this, behind the scenes, I can just click on the recovery and we can see that it's just started the process and is currently running. All right, so this completes the demonstration. Uh, we took a look at how we can identify anomalous activity. Uh, within Cohesity Data Hawk. We also took a look at the new Microsoft Sentinel integration 
and went through the recovery process of recovering a VM using a Sentinel playbook. 